Hello, hello, hello. It's Eliza Bloom Robinson here. 40 days of healing energy for the world. And of course, as we heal, as we hold spiritual energy, healing energy for the world, we're doing it first and foremost for yourself. Today is day 12 and it's all about making contact, that direct connect. Be willing to say, I am not moving until I make direct contact with my soul. When Buddha sat under, I'm reading some notes here, when Buddha sat under the banyan tree, he refused to move until the mysteries of the universe were revealed to him. Be willing to make the commitment to not move, to not take action, to not speak until you first and foremost make that direct connect with your soul. Think about, think about the difference that the world might experience if we turned off distractions, if we turned off the television, if we turned off the news, if we turned off Facebook for crying out loud until after we deeply connected to our own heart, to our own soul, to that which is greater than us. So today is about direct connect, about contact, deep and meaningful contact to that which is greater than you. And so we're going to jump right into it. To so take a deep breath in. And exhale. And become willing. Because the thing is, about any of these healing energies, 90% of it is to become willing. Even if you become willing and you feel like you don't experience it, becoming willing is the first and the foremost. That is the most important aspect because in your willingness, as you take a step toward with the intention of healing energy, of love, of forgiveness, of contact, of any of the things that we've talked about in these 11 and now 12 days, if you step forward with that intention, spirit will move mountains. You just have to go 5% of the way and spirit will come 95% of the way. The thing is you have to not have any expectation about what that looks like, right? But just simply be open. So take a breath. Relax. Open. Surrender. Let go. Imagine turning off all the distractions. Like you can click the off button on the remote. You can turn off the computer. You can turn off your phone. Those are easy. But what about the ones in your mind? Or in your emotional body? Or those things that are heavy on your heart? What about those? Imagine that they also have an off-on switch. Imagine that you can walk over to the edge of them and turn them off. Just like flipping a light switch. Turn them off. Turn off the distractions. Turn off the distractions. And so if you're imagining walking around the room of your mind, of your heart, of your emotions, flipping off the switches, then come to a great big cord and plug it in. Plug it into that special outlet. You know how the dryer, most dryers have a special outlet, have a special cord? I think they call it 220, right? But imagine that there's a direct connect cord and it runs right from your solar plexus and plug it right into that outlet that has just appeared. You may not have ever even known it was there. But plug that cord, the cord of your own being, into the outlet of spirit and feel that direct connect. Feel the connection made. You might feel it physically. You might feel it shift in your physical body. You might feel it energetically like a vibration or a tingle. You might feel it that your mind suddenly separates just a bit. Or the emotions you're feeling may be quiet. Just feel it. Oh, there you go. And as that cord is plugged in, it's almost like the umbilical cord from you to spirit, from you to source, right? There you go. This is a direct connect. This is direct connection. 
This is direct contact. We're just going to hold it. We're just going to keep that channel open. Feel it moving through your body, your physical body. Softening the places that are hard or rigid or tight. Strengthening the places that are weak. Nourishing the places that need nourishing. Quickening the places that need quickening. Soothing the places that need soothing. This is all in your own physical body. Feel that direct connect filling you up from the inside out with a warm energy that is love, that is peace, that is compassion, that is trust, faith. Feel as you make that direct connect with spirit, your mind can relax. It might still be running up here, but it can be relaxed. Feel how this direct contact with spirit allows your emotions to simply be what they are, no matter what you're experiencing, no judgment, just allowing. And feel that direct connect, feel that plug in, not only for yourself now, plugged into spirit, but imagine that there's an umbilical cord, that there is a, a cord of connection from all of the earth, from all of the world that can be plugged in. Take that cord now and plug it in to the outlet that just appears for the whole world. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is powerful. This is really nice. There you go. And the world which means every person on it, every person on our planet, now has access to direct connect, now has direct contact with creation, with source, with the universe, with God itself. There we go. There we go. We hold that for the world. We open the possibility for the world and every person in it. You have access. You have direct connection. All you have to do is become conscious of it, become willing, like we spoke about. I'm Eliza Bloom Robinson. 40 days of healing energy for the world. I believe this is day 12, if I haven't lost track. It was, um, I'm with my grandchildren this week. It's really wonderful. They're eight, six, four, and one and a half, so that's really fun. It's really busy. I was uh, combing my granddaughter's hair. She's like this little uh, princess fairy, and she's got this light, really fine, really curly, really long hair, and I was combing her hair and, and or brushing her hair this morning, and with every brush, she was getting tighter and tighter and tighter, and she's like this, and I'm like, just relax. She's like, I can't. I'm like, yeah, just relax. She's like, it hurts. I'm like, I know it's light, but just relax. So we just have this process of just sort of oh, relaxing. And that's a very beautiful healing energy for the world. So Liza Bloom Robinson, Transformational Catalyst, Spiritual Healer. So glad you've joined me tonight. Please um, join our group. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. These are all going up on YouTube when they're finished. And um, I'll see you around tomorrow. Bye-bye.